Hello and welcome to another tutorial. What I'm going to do today is mashed potato. You might be thinking the way I'm doing it is a bit weird, but it's always the way that I've been taught in restaurants to do it. So what we're going to do is I'll clean my potatoes, just going to put them on. Like this. What we're going to do, this is a really short bit, we're just going to bake them in the oven. Uh, like, jacket, like jacket potatoes. When they come out, what we'll do is we'll half them and then we'll scrape out from them all the mash and we'll put it in a pan, bit of double cream, bit of milk and a bit of butter. We'll heat that together. Uh, we'll then, this doing it that way by baking the potatoes just then means that we can, um, we can get more flavour into the mash. We can add more. By boiling them, you're already adding, the, the potatoes are absorbing the water and cooking. By cooking them in the oven, the potatoes are are um, drying out, so then you can cut it, add, your, add more cream, milk, butter, sugar and salt, no, butter, salt and pepper, and then you just have a much flavoursome mash. This is the way that I got taught to do it in all the restaurants that I've worked in, so that's that's it. Uh, bacon for around about 20 minutes until the jacket potato like and soft in the middle. Uh, welcome back to another tutorial video. What we've got here is a mash. I've just cooked them and I've allowed, I've allowed them to cool down. What I need is I've got a bowl here and I'm just going to put a pan with double cream and a little bit of butter on. Because I want my mash to have a lot of flavour in there. So, double cream and much. And you want a tiny bit of butter. So first thing is first, what we need to do is we need to cut them in half. Now where have I put my knife? Here. So cut your potatoes in half, see they're perfect. Cut in half, 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 all in half. This really does make the perfect mash going. And what I'm going to do is put a tiny little bit of olive oil at the bottom and then I need to scrape out this dry mash. It's lovely, and not just that. The um, the skins you could use it as a week time dinner. Put cheese in them, bacon strips. That's your week dinner sorted for for people. But anyway, so you just want to scrape. So get your spoon in at the start. Bring it round, lift it up, and chuck it in. And that's the skin. You can save the skins, eat them if you really want to. I don't like the skins, so I don't bother. But it's a really dry mash. So what we want to do is add flavour to this to really boost its flavour. See how dry the mash is when it's coming out. It's not, it's not wet. One minute. It's not a wet mash, so it'll be perfect for mashed potato make it so much more flavoursome plug it in and as you can see we're getting a nice pick up there it's just just cooked that's how we want it that's how we like it this is the way that I was taught to do it at a restaurant I was taught that it adds more flavour which then makes the customer much more happier because the customer's got a nicer dish so in all these skins it's actually really hot so I prefer it'll be wise just to let them cool down first before you start doing any of this so it's really extremely hot god that is hot so be honest with you these bits aren't these ones, the bigger ones aren't cooked properly. I'm going to save them. I'm going to use them for the... I'm going to use them as my stuffed potatoes for tomorrow's dinner. You don't want them to be overcooked, you just want them to be like cooked like a jacket potato. In theory. So that you get as much flavour out of these um, potatoes as you can. 
you don't want any skin in there whatsoever, no skin, as the skin's hard. So in, in, and that's it. I've got two big potatoes which I'm going to save for later on, and that's my mash so far. I've got a little bit of skin in that one, so I'll take that bit out. So now we're just going to just going to mash the mat. Just going to mash it down. I mean, you don't want any lumps in it, obviously. So just knock all your potatoes down. They're pretty easy to crush. So just keep keep working that. Keep working that for about two minutes. Now we've mashed the mash, as you can see, not lumpy anymore, so we've mashed it, so it's into a mash. Now we've got to heat the cream and the butter together, just like you can see on there. Put two little bits of butter, do it to your taste. So now, the mash, just let that go through. I've already seasoned my potatoes, so that's, that's, no. To my taste, so my double cream and my butter are just mixing up now. I'm just going to keep working this while then we hit beating up because I just don't want any lumps. So it's just starting to heat. So as you can see, like that it's just starting to separate that like down there. So that's what we want. Want the butter to nicely melt inside the double cream. Once that melt, once that's melted, we're just going to literally pour it into pour bits, bits, bit by bit into the mash slowly, and then to the flavour we like it. So, nearly there, nearly there. Mix the butter around, try and get the butter melted a bit more, faster. We're nearly there, just got the last bit of butter left. Nearly there. Here we go, it's the butter fully melted inside the double cream. So that's that. So, that's our butter melted in. So what we do is we just pour a little bit round, all around, then stop there, then what we do is mix it round, mix your mash round in there with it, move it round, again we did it this way just so we can add more to it. So add more, more of that in, and we just want to add some of the butter because it all hasn't melted in. It's just a tiny bit. Just like that. 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 It's extremely smooth. If it isn't smooth, just pass it through with a sieve. See, we could even add a bit more to that, and I think we'll, we'll add the rest. And that's that. Keep main, main thing is we mash to keep ta tasting it as you're going along. Move it round, and that's our mash. Really tasty, easy, and simple to do. There. So I'm mashed on. If you've got any questions, comments or queries or want to request anything, leave any comments below. Thank you.